Well, here again is Michael Barkan. Not much for uh, hometown fans to cheer about today. Except huh? for Villanova, a little bit tough. Fifth-ranked Penn State knew there would be trouble at USC tonight. The unranked Trojans won a place in the top 25. And knocking off the fifth-ranked Nittany Lions would do the trick to the Los Angeles Coliseum. And Joe Paterno's team coming out flat after the drubbing they gave Cincinnati last week. USC in dark led all the way in the fourth quarter. USC up 14-10, and Reggie Perry goes end around. USC knocks off the fifth-ranked Nittany Lions 21-10. The Trojans should find their way into the rankings after this one. Well, Temple had better find an offense and defense that works, and quickly or they could match their one-win season of 1989. The Owls in the newly formed Big East Football Conference. Tough competition. Pittsburgh clobbers them today. The Owls found themselves knocked on their butts all day long. It was also a rough debut for new starting quarterback Trent Thompson. Thompson tosses three interceptions as the Owls turn the ball over on three of the first four possessions. And Pitt seemed to have good field position all day. And Pittsburgh quarterback Alex Van Pelt takes advantage of it. He hooks up with freshman Dietrich Gels from 46 yards out to put Pitt up 26 to nothing. Anthony Richardson tosses a touchdown pass in the final minutes, but it's too late for Jerry Burnt and the Owls as they drop to 0-2 with a 26-7 loss. While checking the stats, Trent Thompson's first start at quarterback, quite forgettable. 8 for 21, 117 yards with three interceptions. So in two games, Temple's been outscored 67-10, committing eight turnovers. Next week, they're at Death Valley to play Clemson. Well, the Villanova Wildcats were flying high today against Bucknell. Nova in white, number 28, Jeff Johnson had 66 yards rushing. 28 of them here for the touchdown. Nice run as Nova leads 20 to nothing. Running back Pat Kennedy with a big day for the Cats. He runs for 61 yards, but he's got three touchdowns. Here on the option, he goes in from six yards out. Nova rolls to an easy 40 to nothing win. Checking the local college football scoreboard, Lehigh beats Fordham. Delaware wins. Shippensburg over Bloomsburg. 33-29, Delaware State beats Youngstown State, Swarthmore beats Hobart, and Widener over Gettysburg, 27-6. Well, the best top 20 matchup of the day in Ann Arbor, Michigan, where the third-ranked Michigan Wolverines played host to the Fighting Irish of Notre Dame. Michigan Stadium today, as usual, filled to the brim. More than 106,000 on hand. Michigan clinging to a three-point lead when Elvis takes control. Quarterback Elvis Gerback on fourth and one. Alley oop. Michigan up 24-14, and that is the final. National College scoreboard looks like this. Top-ranked Florida State easily over Western Michigan. Oklahoma wins. Tennessee beats UCLA. Baylor upsets 12th-ranked Colorado. Nebraska big over Colorado State. Iowa wins. And Syracuse 31-17 over Maryland. Well, the Phillies have a rookie right-hander by the name of Andy Ashby. Got a lot of promise, they say, and four times this season, he's been thrown to the wolves, so to speak, to try to toughen him up. And tonight, for the fourth time, Ashby gets the loss. He started and gave up five runs in seven and a third innings pitched in the eighth. Pirates have a runner on when Andy Van Slyke rips a two-run homer to right. Pirates lead four to one. That turned out to be the game winner. In the ninth, West Chamberlain crushes a two-run shot of his own. He's breaking out of his slump. Pirates hold on for a 5-3 win, though. Their magic number is now at 11. Phils have lost four straight. By the way, the Pirates won tonight's game after flying to and from Pittsburgh at 6 this morning. The team attended the funeral of longtime equipment manager John Hallahan. Well, in Atlanta, the Braves needed a win to grab first place from the Dodgers. L.A. has owned the Braves this season. In fact, the Dodgers were 6-1 and one at Atlanta after last night's win over the Braves. Well, the Reigns held up play for more than an hour, but the ground crew worked at a feverish pace to get play started. Fifth inning, two to one, and Dave Justice bleeds one through the middle. Jeff Treadray scores, game tied at two. It stayed tied till the 11th. Ron Gann at the plate, bases loaded. That's it. The Braves are back in first. Gantz hit, wins it for the Braves. Final three to two. Roger McDowell takes the loss. The Braves now lead the NL West by half a game. The National League scoreboard looks like this. St. Louis wins. Chicago beating, beats Montreal in 10. San Diego over San Francisco. And Houston beats Cincinnati 7-3. At the Sky Dome today, the Jays are making all the right moves down the stretch. John Olerud at bat and sends a drive off the wall in left center. Roberto Alomar and Kelly Gruber score. Toronto over... The Oakland A's, six to nothing. And the Jays are now four and a half games ahead of Boston in the American League East because the Red Sox lost 
taking a look at the standings. Yankees beat Boston. Detroit over Milwaukee. California beat Chicago 3-2. Cleveland by a one over Baltimore in 11 innings. Texas 3-0 over Minnesota. And in the seventh, Seattle and Kansas City tied. Well, in Worcester, Mass., the Flyers lose exhibition game number two. They played the Bruins. Pete Peters played the whole game. He had 15 saves, but Boston wins it the final four to three. In Canada Cup action, Canada and White, number 99, Wayne Gretzky gets checked into the boards by Gary Suter. Gretzky tried to continue, but he was in obvious pain. Back spasms put him out of the game. Canada didn't need him. Eric Desjardins with a nice backhand for the goal. Canada over Team USA, four to one in the opening game of the Canada Cup Championship. That is a best of three series. The United States still with a shot for that one. That's okay. fourth.